Researchers from the University of Copenhagen, in Denmark, concluded that during the search for alien life, we should pay attention to binary star systems, which consist of stars similar to the Sun. Planets that orbit these stars have a high chance of producing extraterrestrial life. Danish scientists believe that we need to look for stars similar to the Sun if we want to detect extraterrestrial life on the planets that surround them. But a new study shows that planetary systems that surround double, sun-like stars are even better places to look for extraterrestrial life. According to scientists, nearly half of all stars the size of the sun are in binary systems, where stars orbit each other and are gravitationally bound together. In such star systems, the habitability zone, the region of space where life can emerge on the surrounding planets, is much larger. Both stars heat each other's planets, which means that a planet with liquid water and life could appear around one of them. In a new study, scientists turned their attention to a two-star system called NGC 1333 IRAS 2A, which is about 1,000 light-years away. So far, this star system is surrounded by a disk of gas and dust, and no planets have yet formed around it. We used data from the ALMA radio telescope complex to study this star system. We can see the initial stage of planet formation and believe that life can appear in such star systems, says Jez Christian Jorgensen from the University of Copenhagen. Scientists have created computer models that show the evolution of the circumstellar disk from which planets will form in the future. Considering that there are two stars present, each of them affects the surrounding planetary disk. Over time, explosions on these stars will tear the disk apart and affect the formation structure of future planets, says Rajika Karuvida of the University of Copenhagen. Scientists believe that comets, which contain ice and organic molecules, will play an important role in the emergence of life on these future planets. Comets will bring these molecules to the as yet barren surface of the planets as they fall. The energy of the stars will cause ice and other elements to evaporate, which could change the chemical composition of these planets, says Jorgensen. According to scientists, ALMA radio telescopes can see complex organic molecules containing carbon on such planets. Such molecules could be the building blocks for more complex molecules, from which life as we know it emerges. The ALMA radio telescope complex in Chile has 66 telescopes. This way, scientists can get much more accurate data. But at the same time, scientists have high hopes for the Webb Space Telescope, which will also explore exoplanets in deep space to find signs of extraterrestrial life. Even more opportunities to search and study organic molecules will be provided by new telescopes such as the ELT, Extremely Large Telescope, which has a mirror diameter of 39 meters. It will be operational at the end of this decade. We are also counting on the world's largest interferometer SCA, which will consist of thousands of telescopes in South Africa and Australia, says Jorgensen.